going back to more Super Sammy roll. Last time I found the remaining of the Golden Owls in this world. Didn't even need your hints this time, bug thing. So let's go and do all those mating levels while I still have a small smidgen of sanity. Wait, Precision Master. I do not like that name. Yeah, this is what I expected out of a name like that. You just crank all of my fears up into one little thing. The good news is there's absolutely no way that they're going to be able to hide the, uh, the key. Like, there, there's nothing. Oh, good, good. Yeah, this is, this is going to be pain. This is supposed to be the easy one. Yeah, I just want to specify that again, like, this is the easy one. There's two more after this. Traditionally, I've done all of them in one part, but I don't know if I'm going to have it in me to do that this time. I don't know where this stuff is. I need to take a second just to look around, like, where's the owl? It's gotta be up there, just out of view. I don't see anything that resembles the key. Yeah. Okay, low key. Hmm. Nothing like, say, like, the clock stage. I can't really cheese my way up either. the clock item here too, but I don't think it's actually going to help. Because I still want to worry about my S pluses. Really? Stuff like that is why I wish that it, it just that it killed you instantly. It's just a waste of time. Honestly, it'd be less frustrating than watching that bounce animation over and over again. Yeah. On the vain hope that you might survive it. Here's the key, I saw it. Yeah, it's up above. It was on a spinning platform. Which I do not think I will be capable of missing. Which I did predict this much. Yeah, hmm. Camera change option. With difficulty, but no, there isn't. See, like if there's an auto and it, the auto is like straight up and down like this, that might actually be preferable for a stage like this. Like maybe not all the time, but like in sections like that last one, I think it might be. Or even here. I'm not sure if I was too high or too low. Suffered the magma waves. I don't need this. But it just dawned on me that one of the secret stages is probably magma waves. Just more. 
Again. Get past this section here. Super Saiyans generally have like surprisingly strict times for the S plus, so I can't even really wait around and try to position myself. Okay, here. That didn't work. So angle. Be a precision master by the end of this. I feel like I'm gonna be a corpse. Is that the plan? Just being suspicion, this might be one of those games where the developers play test of their own levels way too much. <laughs> Just had no concept of how difficult the game they were making actually was. I hear about that happening a lot. That was a really big issue back with, like, the old days games where, like, sometimes they were eventually made hard, but, like, there's also plenty of times where they really weren't. It was just they didn't really have bait testers or QAs or any of that, so they had no clue what was and wasn't difficult. It's like those people were playing the levels they were made hundreds of times every day. Like, of course they were going to be masters at them. Yeah. Yeah, if they had the free time for game developers would probably be like top 10 world record holders. Even if they didn't use glitches. They're just that obscenely good at their games. Like, except for stuff like maybe like Minecraft. Did here. Yeah. I can just jump over and act like that. Yeah. No! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Leave that. Yeah. No! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I know it's not, but I really hope that the S plus time is like 20 minutes. Give me all the time you can muster for this. <laughs> Might be another one of those the stages the part videos. <laughs> It's in it's definitely one of those. Agent and I lost it again. Uh, I'm not gonna talk much once I get to those areas because like it's just so tense. It's stupidly easy to mess up. I'm 
episodes of all this, it's not even that much harder than the walls they've been giving me so far. Seems to be having possibly thin platforms now, this is pretty much on par. It's impossible to know, but I can't even stop there because if I do, first off, there's a very high probability I'm just going to stop into the void. But even if I don't, I'm going to miss the next platform. I'm going to be too high. Here, here. Yeah, I like screw it. I'm just jumping over. Here anymore. I think I can bounce off of those enemies. It's quite still tough, but I think it's manageable if I take my time on it. Question the okay, well, first off the question is why do I bounce up that high? Second question is I, I forgot what the second question is. <laughs> I got so distracted by the launch into Cloud Nine. That's a normal bounce. Wait. A slightly glorified version of the Lakitu camera. Like it doesn't do the awkward shifts, but it's got a lot of the same functionality. Thing I need to climb up to. Be wasting time here. Jump, that was good enough. It wasn't good enough. Okay, clearly you have to wait till like the absolute top of the jump, otherwise it's just not high enough. Not a single thing in this game that I would have qualified as a precision platformer. So why are they making me go through this? I know it's an optional level, but I, like I said, like there's levels that are actually required that are very similar to this. <laughs> yeah. That I unfortunately will have to play again if I want to get that true 100%. Which is looking less and less likely by the day. Oh, 
actually useful. Like, I thought I was going to be struggling on the part after this. Like, I can't get to that part. <sighs> stun is the best sentence. No use trying to recover it. Okay, made that again. Ellie! I'm giving that again. Is that. Did I hit the camera button? I didn't think I did. So on manual. I think it was nowhere near it. Is there a second button that does that? I'll look for that in a sec. Okay, for this I've made it so far. They know how terrible this is. They put a checkpoint there. That's barely any actual level. It's just still like, yeah, no, this is this is too awful on its own. There's still a whole other floor to this, so I know full well there's gonna be another checkpoint. Is that they bounced really, which I don't know, like 3070 in favor of not? That might still be too generous. And so the level design looks like this. And sufficient platforming trap that I would expect out of some super meat boy. <laughs> Did not get up there. Again. Up again, nope. Okay, good. Hey, was this the th yeah, this is the thing with the key. so hard to jump over. I did it before. And again, I got a shocking amount of mileage out of uh, the first checkpoint too. There, I got the key. I was just sitting around waiting for that. Like, that just has to be done. That is the last checkpoint. It was honestly the easiest part of the stage was the last bit. Now it's next plus. Get me out of here. Let's go. That took 19 minutes. Well, honestly, it would be long enough to be its own part, but whatever. Floor is lava. We're still going. I mean, yeah, it's lava, all right. At least the lava's not making waves. Yet. Hmm. 
Give me 30 seconds here. At least the last stage had the decency to give me 60. It seems like the outside of the cage is the only part that the tongue works on. That is terrifying. But thankfully the wall jump works. Because otherwise I don't know how you would beat this. Like without like just straight up a song task spot. Whatever will you please just get on? Not a minute. I can't even tell what the intended strategy is here. Like, are you just supposed to tongue juggle? Ever? Are you intended to run along the side with the coins? Because, like, that's virtually impossible and these things are moving. Just the beginning. I'm terrified they're gonna try it. Uh, they're gonna try putting the key on one of these. First of all, I'm probably not even gonna see it if they do that. If they do, it. good luck getting it. Hope of there being a potential skip around, but what the matter? Is it working? I guess they didn't bother programming the weapon to work if it's a moving wall. Well, it's not too bad. The slide for that matter. Oh. We're tired of hearing this song, <laughs> you know. Honestly, most of World 4 and 
A good chunk of world three. Look at Nita here. And these don't move. So they have proper collision. This stuff is relatively easy. You know, no, but uh, I'm getting the time stopper. I'm not playing that game with this stage. <laughs> Back we go! Right now it's virtually impossible to, uh, to get coins in this. I don't want to screw up a little bit. There's plenty of coins around. Good luck grabbing them. Most of the second half of the game, it wasn't finished! <laughs> it's nice on the wall side actually works, because there's so many times that it doesn't. Especially with those things. Washing went really well that time, and I'm not entirely sure why that was special. I'm also not like that was just really loud. You probably could hear me pressing that button. Yeah, I was pressing the tongue. But nah, nothing came out. And the line was there too. Single part of this level I consider remotely easy. Okay, that one was on me. I, I should have gone for the one I was up against, not the one that was next out. That one. This one, I guess, just run it. Well, hop it. Well, you can't hop it. It worked for the first one. The air physics don't work. Things this game don't work. Why am I surprised now? I know, but. Might be a skip you can do to get straight onto those fans. Problem is, you would have to do it on these spinning platforms of doom. Wait, the key's there! Okay, well, at least they didn't put it in one of these. Like, it was in the fan! Okay, 
Let's work. Levels are not built around new mechanics that add a voltage shows. Oh, does it ever show? Develop some of these stages a day? Half a day? Four minutes? Honestly, the last stage you could probably convince me was developed in four minutes. Considering how there was virtually nothing there. What was there was just reused from other stages. Like, really, the line was there, I pressed the button, it still didn't work. I'm trying to own up when I screw up. I just genuinely don't feel like I'm screwing up most of the time. I'm trying to recover, but it's too late. Shame this game underperformed, otherwise there'd be a task spot I would be using right now. I'm not even joking, I have had my patience it's been so far. This point's like, yeah, no, like, if the game's not gonna function, I I'm not gonna bother trying to learn it. But I don't have that choice. This is the only reason I'm not involved. I couldn't even really have anything to do it there. They should, like, there's Switch, but I don't think Switch has task tools yet. I haven't seen that on, like, Ryu Jinx or Yuzu or any of those. I think Skyline is tinkering with it, but first off, it's an Android emulator, and secondly, it's woefully early in development, so they're probably experimenting with a lot of ideas right now. It actually works. I have to pick it up because there's so many things where it just doesn't even try. Into those. Oh, that's in the stage right there. it. There is definitely a skip you can do there, for sure. That's only an S-standard, I gotta do it again. And time works again, but like... I guarantee you can just get onto one of those fans. Like, that's what I was thinking before, but... Platforms are so small, and they're moving so fast! I had, I really should have. I think this is the method, you just gotta ground pound it. Okay, you know, it worked fine this time. Didn't even need the clock speed up item. And it was Miss Plus! Okay. I guess I can do it twice in a row. You know, when mechanics work, let's go. 
I'm still not done. I still have another one of these to go. And I'm not ending this part. I'm not stopping tradition. I don't care if this part ends up being stupidly long. Dubular tubular. That's another one of these stages. At least there's no rising, falling magma. That's what I was scared of. Saw the bird outline. Oh no, no of these. I might be buying another, uh, actually, yeah, no. no. <laughs> I'm buying another clock. Get back in there. They're only giving me 10 seconds. I'm not screwing with that. Scared about the key in stages like this because it could honestly be anywhere. Mm. Yeah. 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 It would blend so well with these keys. Like, I would never know. I think I mentioned last part how like, I have trouble differentiating the coins from the keys, especially when there's the magma around. It wasn't like, they're there! That was on the arrow! Okay, guess, guess the yellow arrows don't have collision. What do the balloons do, though? Yeah, blue does. Weird. That's not like entirely designed to us, it's just a weird one. Those ones did. Okay, what gives? Something screwy's going on. Bouncing. Okay. Yeah. I'm supposed to do all this with a 10 second time limit. Also, no checkpoints. I'd like to specify that too. There's no checkpoints in this. And again, checkpoints might not be feasible in something like this. Considering the checkpoint would have to spin around too and it'd be missable. Which keys on there? I'm like. 40% sure. Like, I was gonna say 90 is like 80, or maybe 65, 50, uh, nah, that's still too high. This side, I know where it is now. On the, the minus side, it's somewhere I can't easily differentiate. Just to stay here and weave between them until it comes back. There it is. Okay, got the key. I'm not trying to do that with the proper time limit in place. You can see from the drop shadow I was on the arrow.
Well, if there was ever any doubt those blue arrows don't have collision, there you or the yellow ones, I mean. There you go, like also just arrows in general, like they're over lava, they don't work. I don't know why, but they don't. that. Whatever, keep going. It's not a massive time loss. I hit jump. That, that was playing with fire, but made it. More ways than one, that was playing with fire. Once again, I know for a fact to hit jump, but in fact that I made sure to hit jump for the blue arrow, because I knew the yellow one was out of the question. <laughs> It was a bit reckless, but made it. Didn't waste too much time. Jump super early. Jump super early. Like this. You can't time your jumps because those things don't have hitboxes. Which means you have to jump super early, which means you're not going to make your jump. Like, it's by far the easiest of the three challenge stages, like, considering its biggest hur hurdle is the, the timer, which you can easily resolve. We had a what? Honestly, the second one probably should have been the easiest, just the mechanics didn't work most of the time. They worked as fine, like somehow I got it through the second time with no issues whatsoever. See what the game wants me to do there is just. I don't think the level is designed for that thing to work. Uh, I'm so close. We just went for the one that's to the left of it, but it's so high. I'm mean, gonna deal with it. I completely lost my patience for the sun locks. Nah, I I'm done. That one I'll allow because it was a first part section, but only that one. Okay, for this thing, me, it's, a, it's the Psychonauts puzzle. I had to wait for it to come back, I didn't make it. Would not be surprised at all if that cost me the S. Well, it doesn't matter, so I'm not gonna make it. Billy stuns matter. 
So... <laughs> I guess we can see what my time is even with the timer frozen, but... I guess the game thinks it's too much time. I don't know what to say anymore. Uh, I've made all my complaints. It's the same complaints over and over again. Hmm. Pretty sure that didn't hit me, but whatever. What else is new? Jump. It does not handle sloped physics particularly well. Considering how much of a physics puzzler the game really seems to think it is, it's, uh, it's concerning. Sing it again. <laughs> Time for stuns. have like kill vines and I'm really wishing this game has had one of those. It's not a big deal, but it's big enough. Like it matters. Not fun once again did not work. I was spamming at that time. You probably heard at least one or two of those clicks go through. But no. That one just me being dumb. I'll own that one. This thing is like, seems fantastic when it's like properly working. I still think it's probably worth the price point, especially like on PS Plus since you have the discount. If, uh, for the first one alone, but everything after it is just. Ugh, it's gross. There's some good balls in World 2, but... This is worse than this. I should say, say honestly, I think World 4 is better than World 3. So far, at least. Like, there was very little good out of World 3. Jump. Okay. I was never gonna make that one, so... I'm almost certain I saw my drop shadow over that, but I don't want to act differently because it probably wasn't. I kept saying it's the easiest of the bunch, isn't it? It's 
so like I don't want this time stopper going to waste. That's why I have to be so paranoid. This really should not have worked, but I'm glad it did. Once in a blue moon, that sort of thing happens. Catch. This is all lining up way too well. Yeah. Spamming jump. I know what the problem is on that one. It's just annoying. It's a game mechanic. It's a really annoying one. One of the mechanics is that uh, when you land from a jump, like, you'll do a little bounce. And you can't jump out of it, even though you really shouldn't. Some of the higher jumps, maybe, but it happens with almost all of them. If you're on something that's even remotely sloped, then oh yeah, it's definitely gonna happen. Can't afford stuns. Slow me down too much. Trying to go slow so that I could give the bounce a chance to happen. But like going slow just made me miss the thing entirely. It's, didn't have one of those. It, it's confusing. Opens a little bit slowly universal. Close to the one hour mark, and I'm almost certainly gonna pass it if I don't start seeing that owl. Bit, but other than that, it went pretty well there. Bounced. Ugh. You can actively try to stop from rolling over. It's like, nah. Wasted a bunch of time trying to sink the platforms, and even when they did sink, they really weren't. Once again, no saving it. annoying stage, but I'm enjoying myself way more here than I ever did with the first two of the stages, that's for sure. And dude, it doesn't help when stuff like that happens. Pretty well, things considered. I did have to stop for 
people can see me, but other than that, it'll be great. Full on step. Oh, there's the owl. Good. What's the score? Oh my goodness, no what? No hour plus one part for me this time. Let's go. Oh, keep my mock. Did something just open? Question mark? I don't know, did it? Well, thank y'all for watching. Next time we're gonna be heading to 414, the Everlit Fire Palace. It does not look like there's a lot left of the game, but considering how long this part has already been going on, I am not continuing it any longer in this, so until then, take care, stay safe, have a good one, Bye bye